Now I would like to invite our distinguished guest for the ceremony, Shri Kharak Singh, Shri J G Chaturvedi, Shri Amit Kumar Desai, Professor S Sundar Manoharan, and Dr R K Vij on the dais. I would like to invite Dr. R K Vish, Director SPT, to share a few words with us. Good afternoon, uh, respected Professor S. Sundarman Oranji, Director General, Pandit Dindyal Energy University, Mr. Khada Singh Sir, Mr. J G Chaturvedi Ji, Mr. Vishnu Rawal Ji, Mr. Amit Desai Ji. my young colleagues from ongc ahmedabad mehsana and different places and my dear student uh, it's really a joyous moment for all of us that today we are celebrating the iadc annual day wherein we have in the morning have a technical sessions and presentation by various industry personnel to disseminate the knowledge they have vast knowledge also we have a uh, two Uh, expert lecture by Mr. Khadak Singh and Mr. J G Chaturvedi on asset management, which was very useful for all of us, and which has given us a knowledge of deep into the E N P industry, working of E N P industry, the role of asset management and services, and we are really delighted with the presentation by Mr. Amit Desai, the high tech drilling, the U B D, which is the latest trend in India and abroad, and uh, I will uh, also welcome. Mr. Vishnu Rawal ji, who have recently joined us afternoon, and uh, we have some few lectures by our in the morning from our young colleagues, Mrs. Arthi Singh and uh, Mr. Bharat uh, Bharat Kumar, and uh, um, uh, very good lectures was given, and we are really benefited uh, with all this. IADC, which is a drilling contractors, so India International Association of Drilling Contractors, is really one of the very upcoming uh, student chapters and we are the second in india next to mit pune in pdu we are uh, definitely promoting all these uh, professional bodies to disseminate the knowledge and to acquire the knowledge in addition to the team building and other things so iadc which is the chapter which is youngest chapter as compared to other chapter of society of petroleum engineers society of petroleum geophysicists and fipi and in this one year the team has shown us a very good uh, achievement and you have seen just now the team headed by mr virag and other fellows i must compliment all the executive bearer of the iadc for giving us a very good performance and i hope that the next team which is coming from today will perform and it will give the same uh, impetus to the academic uh, academic knowledge the knowledge for the experimental learning as well as for the research activities so i must thank each and every person i am thankful to uh, professor sundar manohar ji who have come uh, in spite of his busy schedule uh, to participate in this event thank you thank you very much thank you sir i request professor s sundar manohar to facilitate our guest on the dais first uh, shri kharak singh the first asset manager of india ongc श्री जे जी चतुर्वेदी नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर आर के विच डिटेक्टर एस पी टी टू फेलिसिएट आर गेस्ट श्री विष्णु रावल एच डी एस ओ एन जी सी मैसाना असेट
श्री अमित कुमार देसाई हेड हाईटेक ड्रिलिंग ओ and professor s sundar manoharan director general pdu thank you sir now i request professor s sundar manoharan dg pdu to enlighten us with his words good afternoon to everyone uh, ladies and gentlemen and uh, especially the chief guests and uh, distinguished members on the dais and of the dais it's a great joy to be with you all uh, good to see uh, Dr. Sheetal uh, from SNF also to be here and co-sponsors of today's event. Uh, sir, you come, come, come to the stage. Come, come and join us. Please come. <clears throat> okay. Um, this uh, is a valedictory meeting, but your joy is uh, becoming of an inaugural session. You keep up the uh, same tempo. You keep up the same spirit. From the beginning to the end, at the outset, let me congratulate the IADC members for the excellent uh, program that you keep organizing. Uh, the only tough time that I have with you is to keep pace with the number of programs that you organize uh, because you have been uh, doing a phenomenal job through the cal calendar year. And I want to congratulate especially your uh, outright involvement in the investors meet that we had uh, through DGH last year. So I worked with all of you in close quarters and I observed uh, how enthusiastic you are. And uh, this IADC also represents the student chapter in one sense of your SPT because all of you are very much involved in IADC as well as your departmental program. So I see that all in one. Uh, and you are there. Um, I will have a special uh, privilege next week and next month uh, going to the OTC conference along with Professor Witch. Uh, first time I'm going to OTC and already I looked at the list of exhibitors and the companies that are coming. I don't know in three, day, three days time how many companies we can meet. But my advice to IADC is Next year, we need to see most of you going for OTC conference. How many of you have gone to OTCs earlier? OTC? Okay, then. then uh, no, 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 not allowed. Yeah, I think uh, IADC should uh, license, per perhaps we might license with the IADC chapter in US to specially host all of you because what I heard about OTC conference is very contagious and that's the place of happening where you can learn a lot even interacting with the industries. So who is the IADC chapter uh, president or incoming committee? I request that you make a strategic move and university from our side will be willing to support in every way, uh, even financially to make it happen. So I expect a jumbo uh, uh, you know, crowd to go and uh, <clears throat> we need to be in places where we need to be and we need to connect with people whom we need to connect with. Uh, we already have established during the last trip uh, good synergy with petrobytes, but we hope to bring many more and my heart is already beating fast, excited about the other opportunity of meeting all the SPT alumnus. Uh, who are going to congregate with us in Houston. And this time we really want to talk something more big. Uh, but let me tell you, you guys have made the university proud. Uh, this time for the second consecutive time, 
uh, you have done very well in gate exam. I was just sharing to our uh, distinguished guests on the dais how proud we are that uh, every year we have seen a very strategic demonstration of your brilliance in gate exam that talks about your academic bent and the way you want to progress in higher studies, not just take up a job and be done with it. Uh, this year, uh, we have the first rank, fourth, sixth and seventh rank holders. All from SPT. All from SPT, so that talks about your brilliance and we really want to hear more from you and whatever be the initiative that comes from IATC, we would like to consider it seriously and uh, I also feel that all your uh, department faculty members got to be here to literally enjoy this uh, scenario. I see only few here. Uh, make sure that all the department faculty members get to uh, be with you through this uh, participation. Only then the hand holding will be good. Uh, and another thing is I want all the SPT final year projects to become capstone projects not just a simple add-on uh, because your potential is so great and if you need be we can line up at least 20 30 companies with whom each one of you can tag along so next year for the in uh, final year batch that is going to come in i want to see in your final year projects also you do brilliantly well uh, today i don't want to take much more time than this but uh, I often wonder SPT whether it is a ONGC department. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, even in the stage, PDEU is minority. Uh, and that talks about the exuberance and the commitment with which Director SPT brings the industry connect. I have to proudly tell, not to create any uh, controversy, SPT is the only department which is well connected with industry. <clears throat> And uh, if at all any department is giving tough time for me to keep in pace with you, it is SPT because you bring so much of industry connect and that's exactly what the national education policy and the government of India is asking for, for a skill set. If I were director SPT, I wouldn't have organized that one month long field visit what he has indulged in hot weather, I don't know, he doesn't wear a cap, but still he's with all the uh, 130 odd students who went for field visit. This is the only department which goes, whether it is raining or in hot sun, you are in the field learning things the way it has to be learned. And uh, how many of you went on this recent trip? Anybody here? Yeah, I see the tanning, you're all sunburned now. Yeah, you don't need to go to a spa for this. You know, you go join SPT, you get every spa effect here. I'm very happy about all that is going on and do brilliantly well. And I want to see much more good things happening. And please don't hesitate to come to us. And uh, uh, I cannot appeal and uh, embarrass the guest here. But this time I'm hell bent on bringing ONGC for day zero uh, placement. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for bringing out best in us. Now I would invite Sri Sheetal Court, Managing Director of SNF Lopam, and on the dais, and request Dr. R. K. Vich, sir, to felicitate him. Now, I would like to invite our chief guest, retired Lieutenant Colonel Sri Vishnu Rawal, Head of Drilling Services at ONGC Mesana, for his address. Respected Directors, Manwar Sir, 
Vick sir, Chit. a senior uh, on GC retired AD sir, our senior officers on GC and fitness students. अभी मनोहर साहब ने काफी अच्छा बोला कि सभी लोग ऑन जीसी की ज्यादा लग रहे हैं पीडीपीओ के कब लग रहे हैं ऑल आर फ्रॉम द ऑन जीसी एंड एक्चुअली ऐसा है कि देश के लिए सभी लोग एक ही हैं और वी ऑल वर्क टुगेदर और कुछ लोग स्टूडेंट्स हमारे एक महीने की ट्रेनिंग में भी आते हैं मेहनत बहुत जरूरी है धूप बारिश ठंडी तो मेहनत करेंगे तभी तो क्या कुछ मिलेगा और मुझे बहुत खुशी होती है कि आप आप एक पीडीपीओ ऐसी है जो तो इंडस्ट्री के साथ कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर काम कर रही है और उससे क्या सीखने को मिल रहा है मैं वीक साहब का और डायरेक्टर मनोहर साहब का मतलब मैं बहुत ही धन्यवाद देता हूं कि हमारा जो कल्चर है पढ़ाने का कल्चर है खाली किताबों तक सीमित नहीं है प्रैक्टिकल भी बहुत जरूरी है और जब ऐसे मनोहर साहब ने बताया कि हमारा सिस्टम पॉलिसी गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी चेंज हो गई है और होना भी चाहिए आपको आगे बढ़ना है तो आपको फिजिकली ट्रेनिंग बहुत जरूरी है मेंटली भी बहुत जरूरी है और मैं मनोहर साहब से ये भी बोलूंगा कि आपके बच्चों को टफ बनाइए फर्स्ट ईयर से उसको टफ बनाने का एक जो आर्मी का एक आप सुबह के जो शायद हॉस्टल में रहते भी होंगे बाहर भी रहता हूँ मैं बोला सभी को बोलता हूँ कि आपकी हॉस्टल हॉस्टल की लाइफ इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट देन योर फिजिकल एट होम ट्वेल्थ तक आप होम घर पर रहिए बाद में आपके ट्वेल्थ के बाद कॉलेज में चार साल हॉस्टल में रह के आपको रहना है तो उसमें आप एक बहुत अच्छे एक, एक इंसान एक अच्छे आदमी बन के निकलोगे आप घर में रहते अपने पेरेंट्स बहुत ही आपको प्यार से रखते हैं आप भी उनके साथ रहते हैं आप आगे बढ़ने की कोशिश नहीं करते तो मेरा तो रिक्वेस्ट सभी से ही होता है कि आप कंपलसरी आप हॉस्टल में रहिए आपको आगे बढ़ना है तो कम हॉस्टल लाइफ इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट बहुत अलग अलग टाइप के लोग मिलते हैं अलग टाइप की सिचुएशन आती है और वही आपकी लाइफ आगे का रास्ता बनाती है फिजिकली और मेंटली दोनों चीज मिलते हैं फिजिकली मतलब मैं डायरेक्टर साहब से ही बोलूंगा कि आप एक रिटायर्ड आर्मी शोल्डर को रखिए कि आपका एक घंटे का आपका पूरा पसीना निकाले तभी आप टफ बनाओगे फिजिकली भी इंपॉर्टेंट मेरे पास शायद साहब ने बोला कि गेट में फर्स्ट आया हुआ है कुछ ऐसे और जिसे मेरे स्टूडेंट्स आते हैं पॉइंट पहुंची से में लग जाते हैं दे आर नॉट फिट फिजिकली फिट उन्हें पढ़ाई काफी अच्छा करा है पर वो इंडस्ट्री में आगे नहीं निकलते हैं आप काफी देखे होंगे मोस्ट ऑफ जो काफी ब्रिलियंट होते हैं वो आगे इतने नहीं निकलते जो जितने मतलब नोटिस पर्सन होते हैं उनका ग्रूमिंग टोटालिटी में काफी अच्छा हो जाता है तो हमारा कहने का तो हमारा ग्रूमिंग कंप्लीट होना चाहिए नॉट वन साइडेड तो आप फिजिकली प्लस मेंटली इन दोनों तैयार हो जाइए आज आर्मी का जवान ऑफिसर्स आई की ट्रेनिंग निकलता है होने के बाद एक एक बहुत ही बड़ा एक अच्छा इंसान बनता है उसको कोई भी सिचुएशन में कभी भी कुछ होती है तो वो एकदम निकल जाता है हमें वैसा आदमी बनना तो मैं डायरेक्टर साहब से ये बोलूंगा कि आप एक इंस्ट्रक्टर ऐसा रखिए कि सुबह जल्दी उठे आप लोग 
आपको जहां तक मैंने देखा कि मैं मेरी खुद की कॉलेज के लाइफ में भी हॉस्टल में रहा जहां तक हिस्सों में सब पढ़ाई भी इतना ध्यान रखते कि रात को रात को जगते दिन में सोते हैं ऐसा नहीं टाइम आपको जो होता है जितना सुबह के टाइम में जितना आप याद रखते हैं रात में नहीं होता खाली जस्ट अपना वो थिंकिंग है कि भाई मैं ये करता हूँ वो करता हूँ तो मेरा है कि आप फिजिकली प्लस मेंटली दोनों तरिया रही है तो आप अपने आप को अपने समाज को अपने देश को और अपनी जो कंपनी को बहुत ही अच्छा करोगे और आने वाला समय इंडिया के लिए काफी यूजफुल है और जो नया जनरेशन जो नई टेक्नोलॉजी नई सिस्टम अपग्रेडेशन जो चीजें हैं वो आप ही का है तो ये सब चीजें करने के लिए आपको अपने उस लेवल में आपको पहुंचना पहुंचने के लिए ये सब चीजें बहुत जरूरी है मैं ज्यादा समय ना लेके आप लोगों ने आईडीसी चैप्टर का जो एक मैं लास्ट टाइम भी आया था और काफी लड़कों को इस चीजों का मतलब ग्रूमिंग स्लोली स्लोली ग्रूमिंग होता है वो ग्रूमिंग करते तो मैं पी के डायरेक्टर और इंस्टीट्यूट को बहुत ही धन्यवाद देता हूँ ऐसे चीजों को ग्रूमिंग करिए बच्चों का ग्रूमिंग एक दिन नहीं आता ग्रूमिंग के लिए स्लोली 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 चीजें चीज होती है और एक ही रात भी एक दिन होता तो मैं वही चीजें बोलता आपको जो प्रैक्टिस करते हैं हर चीज की प्रैक्टिस आपको एक कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल है और वो कॉन्फिडेंस चाहिए तो मैं धन्यवाद आपके डायरेक्टर साहब को कि जिन्होंने मुझे इनवाइट किया और ज्यादा समय ना लेके और थैंक यू सो मच और आपको ऑल द बेस्ट जो अभी आपकी टीम आईडीसी विराग जो अभी इस साथ वो ज्वाइंट टीम पूरी जा रही है उन्होंने जो एक मतलब टीम ने जो एक कंडक्ट किया था उसके बाद नई टीम आ पा रही है वो भी इससे भी अच्छा करेगी हर आदमी अपने आप को एक अच्छा करने की कोशिश करे कॉम्पिटिशन हमेशा होनी चाहिए पर लेग पुलिंग नहीं होना चाहिए कंपटीशन हमेशा होनी चाहिए लीग पुलिंग नहीं होना चाहिए और अच्छी करने की कोशिश करो आपका आपके फादर मदर का आपके इंस्टीट्यूट का आपके देश का नाम हमेशा रोशन करिए मैं ऐसी इसके साथ धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर शेयरिंग योर विजडम एंड मोटिवेटिंग द स्टूडेंट्स आई रिक्वेस्ट श्री शीतल कोट टू से फ्यू वर्ड good evening uh, uh, first of all thank you for uh, inviting me for this function uh, so manohar sir uh, vid sir and on the dais the senior ongc uh, people and my dear friends and students basically whenever i come to the college i feel like it's a get connected to the college as well as uh, we feel something we come for learning as well and definitely it's a learning curve but what i want to uh, tell to the students as well whenever we start the recruitment campaign and all the things because there we have done uh, two recruitment this year among 24 so what i want is during your whatever you are studying we know it's a special batch which is coming out during the covid period but what is important for you is to keep on learning the people a little bit lost a touch from the book learning and only the mobile learning or like that the things are going on and means when we put it, them on the field or something like that sir has said rightly the physical as well as mental presence is required and for that you need to gear up yourself first of all otherwise it is not possible agar aap means khud ko dekhenge apan ghar pe chote bacche bhi hai आज के तारीख में ये जो कोविड के सिचुएशन में दो साल में उनका जो मेंटल एंड ये जो डिस्टरबेंस हुआ है दैट आई कैन सी इवन इन द कॉलेज लेवल एज वेल सो लिटरली दैट इज द नीड ऑफ नीड ऑफ द अवर द ओएनजीसी सर हैज सेड लिटरली दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इवन फॉर आवर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल एंड लिटरली दैट प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड और टू कम अप विद द पॉजिटिव एनर्जी that is little bit missing into these two years whatever we say 
we lost or we gained. But you are coming out of that phase when we are coming out of that COVID situation. But you cannot say that I came into the COVID batch. You are passing as a graduate petroleum engineer. You will not be considered as a COVID pass out student, get graduate engineer. So first of all, understand these things that we have to improve ourselves. We have to get a positive energy in ourselves. Mentally and physically, you need to be present. When my guys were taking the interview, they were saying that, sir, unko pooch rahe, ye kar rahe, aisa ho rahe, aisa ho rahe. I said, nothing doing. See that person is, how he is getting connected to you. May not be knowledge is not that important. But first of all, how you are taking the questions, how you are answering the questions genuinely, that is also important and the confidently as well. And that is what little bit I, I can feel that the confidence level is little bit getting down, not only for you, everyone during this COVID situation. And everyone has to raise yourself that first of all, leave aside mobile, laptop, TV and all the things. Be physically present on ground. And that is literally important for all of you. When you are coming out as a COVID, uh, as a graduate petroleum engineer, no one will consider after two years or four years, your batch was passed out in COVID. No one will say that. But as of now, yes, that is the excuse for you as well. We have learned online. Your professors has taken their, uh, their pains to educate you. But how much you have learned, you have made the screen offline, online, whatever you have done, it is with you. But when you are going to the industry, you need to be physically sound, mentally sound, and positive energy is there. Then only you will achieve something in your career. And I'm damn sure you will achieve it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. On this fitting occasion of our annual ceremony, Team IRDC PDEU is launching its very own magazine. I request the guests on the dais to do the honor of launching the first issue of our annual magazine, Azimuth. This magazine is culmination of work put in round the years by the team. We hope that you relish reading it too. Now, I would request Dr. R.K. Vij to now I would like to uh, request Dr. R.K. Vij to felicitate young drilling engineers from oil and gas industry with shawl. Rushikesh Karnik. Amitabh Kaushak, Sorry. Arnab Kumar Das, Shubham Devnath. Now, I would request the guest on the dais to take their respective seats in the audience. Good 
Good afternoon, everyone. I am D S Rajput, Director of South Asia Consultancy. I would like to thank P D E U for inviting me in the event. However, I could not attend due to some pre-scheduled engagement. V South Asia Consultancy is the largest O and M company for recuperation and maintenance in O N G C and Oil India, uh, in onshore and offshore for drilling and workover, and we are operating around 18 rigs today in India. We are also operator of South Patan South Patan field in Kanbe Basin. and we are producing from marginal field and putting our little effort in increasing india's domestic crude production and supporting the country today's topic is role of digitalization in oil and gas industry so in this regard i will say that digitalization plays an important role in the industry rtms system which means real time monitoring system has been incorporated in production system to monitor the production data in real time this will help us in better management and optimize production and reduce risk thank you for giving me the time and i thanks to my friend dr viz specially uh, i would like to see you soon thank you so much bye next up we have a presentation by mr mike dubos vice president iadc international from houston texas on the theme of our ceremony Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yeah, Mike, we can hear you. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you to PDEU, uh, Professor Sundar, Dr. R. K. Vidge, Dr. Harry, Mr. O. P. Singh, if he was able to join us, and other distinguished guests. and certainly to the dear students thank you again for the opportunity to uh present to you today and i certainly uh welcome the opportunity to meet and and greet and and be with those that are coming for OTC in Houston uh the first week in may we're certainly looking for a very uh prestigious event this year after some uh, scaled back events the last couple of years So certainly we are looking forward to that. What I would like to share today, if I may, yes, sir. Thank you. So are you able to see the slides? Yes sir. Yes sir. Great. Thank you. So if we could go to the uh the next slide please, number 2. So what I would like to uh, share with you in keeping with the theme of uh, today's event the role of digitalization in making the oil and gas industry sustainable I would like to talk a little bit about uh, the work that is underway with IDC's Advanced Rig Technology or the ART committee we have a project underway at the moment to upgrade and improve the dull bit grading process within IEDC as most will be familiar the bit obviously is a, one of the most critical components uh, for <clears throat> the well construction process and as we move forward and uh, become more and more technologically advanced we have opportunities to 
take advantage of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and to get a more consistent process in place with regard to how we grade the bit. At the moment, uh, it's usually very subjective up to the company man, the OIM on site, and uh, oftentimes these can be a bit misleading, subject to misinterpretation when it gets back to the field office. So primarily, we're going to look at the PDC cutters, drill bits, and other tools with cutting elements on this particular presentation. I will be sending, uh, this was part of a virtual panel discussion in a four-part series. We have a number of groups working on this project. So just to highlight, <clears throat> what we were looking for was the ability to create forensic evaluation workflows and establish best practice document that will be published within IEDC and SPE. And as you can see highlighted here, some of our priorities were to collect the most common uh, cutter damage examples, group and label them according to the work group, and then also define a standard and a set of words and descriptions to each class, concentrating on PDC drill bits. PDC drill bits make up about 85% of all the bits that are utilized around the globe today. And then finally, to document the new proposed codes, and this will be an IEDC recommended practice document that will be released. So as we look uh, forward, the progress overview, we had a subject matter expert forum has been established. 17 meetings to date, ranging from 30 to 50 attending in each meeting. We've gone through an extensive polling process, developed a training document that's in draft form. We've got about 42 pages of content so far, and some training examples have also been developed. So one of the most critical pieces was to be able to divide the bit into zones. So as we look at this, we have determined four particular zones, the cone, and that would be the cutters at the center of the drill bit inside of the nose, the nose, which would be the cutters at the highest point of the blade arc, the shoulder would be the cutters between the nose and the gauge, and then the gauge cutters, as they're commonly referred to, would be the first cutter aligned with the top of the gauge pad. So very specific, but trying to get much more granular in the descriptions regarding the bit grading process. So we have developed a dull grading process map. As you can see at the moment, uh, <clears throat> it's the human is grading the bit, usually visual evaluation out on the drill site, usually on the rig floor. We are working to develop machine learning systems that will utilize uh, the opportunity to re reduce variability and also to improve the efficiency. Because if we can get much more scientific and specific about how we grade cutter damage and cutter erosion, and things of that nature, we can improve the overall drilling efficiency, and that is what we are looking to do. So then oftentimes these bits are then sent to a shop to be uh, reprocessed, reconstituted, and uh, the cutters replaced, and then that process of grading also takes place in a much more scientific uh, environment within the shop. So. The IEDC rig grade process will be improved, and also we're looking to utilize some advanced forensics as well. Grading every cutter, uh, specifically in the past, this has not necessarily been the case. So now that we have this broken into particular zones, we can become much more granular, defining the process for how to grade a single cutter, 
grade each cutter on the bit and then summarize in a tabular data and put that into a standard format so that each bit would be graded in the same scientific methodology to derive what exactly caused the bit to fail or to dramatically lose uh, rate of penetration. So some of the key accomplishments have been uh, universal damage uh, classification scheme that has been established. You see here camphor damage, uh, a chipped cutter, also axial brakes, uh, phase cracking. This can often be caused by the formation, of course, but it, it can also be caused by the drilling fluids. If they're uh, too caustic in nature, they can cause the cutters on the bit to become brittle and to cause to chip. So not only are we looking at the interface with the actual formation being drilled, but we're also looking at the drilling fluids being used and are they the most efficient and are they fit for purpose for this particular section of the hole? So we look at cutter substrate damage causes and classes, and then we look at the severity measurement system. The bit zones have been expanded, as we mentioned earlier, to be more specific and also to reach a level of standardization of these additional measurements. So trying to be very specific in how these are measured across the course of the bit and also the bottom hole assembly, but we're focusing specifically on the bit at this moment. We are looking to put drill bits into specific uh, zone definition. As you'll know, some PDC bits also contain a roller cone assembly. The traditional roller cone bit is, is almost a thing of the past. It is often used on surface hole, which is drilled uh, quite quickly. But due to their subjectivity to failure, cone damage, the possibility to leave uh, junk in the hole, to cause a fishing job, to have a, a ultimately a sidetrack if all else fails. Those are things that have led more to the PDC bits being utilized. And then uh, ultimately the reason that the bit was pulled, was it lack of uh, rate of penetration? Uh, was it that the bit kept balling up? Was it the fact that uh, the bit uh, tended to wander off as far as the steerability of the bottom hole assembly? Are we not able to stay on track, to stay on target? All of those things need to be part and parcel of the rig grading and the bit grading process that takes place out on the rig. So our next steps will be to finalize some of the training examples that we are working on. We are working now to develop a field testing plan, refine the coding that exists today. There's obviously an IEDC dull bit classification grading system that exists today. And then we are working to develop the digital interface. So we'll be able to take digital photos on the rig. We'll be able to put the bit inside of a box. We'll be able to go around the bit with uh, with laser accuracy to be able to measure the bit specifications as it returns out of the hole versus brand new specifications. We'll be able to tell that there's 22.5% wear on the nose cutters, very, very specific. And then ultimately IEDC will be looking to publish a new standard and that will be coming probably in the fourth quarter of, of this year. So a lot of work being done behind the scenes, but I just wanted to touch on this because uh, a lot of work being done here in the areas of machine learning, artificial intelligence, data management, and uh, we just wanted to make uh, the students aware specifically. So as you begin your career journey and you move out into the field, you'll be knowledgeable about this work. You'll certainly uh, be hearing much more about this as we 
continue our process for upgrading and improving, utilizing technology to ensure that we are doing the best to help the members, to help the industry improve efficiency and continuously improve our performance. So thank you very much. Pleasure to be with you today. And then I will stand by here for a few minutes. I believe we're going to have some Q&A coming up shortly. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Yes, thank sir. You very, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any question for Mike? Okay, no question. Thank you. Yes, thank you, sir. Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. We would like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Mike Dubois and IRDC Fraternity for all their support in our endeavor. The energy and enthusiasm motivates us to push ourselves harder. We also extend our gratitude for acknowledging our hard work by pledging $10,000 to IRDC PDE student chapter. We assure you that Team IIDC PDU will be keep working with the same sincerity and dedication. Thank you. Well, it's our pleasure, and uh, we certainly are very appreciative of the uh, hard work and the good effort that has been put forth so far. Uh, we certainly consider our relationship with PDEU to be top tier. And we're looking forward to uh, bigger and better things going forward. And we certainly uh, look look forward to some of the COVID restrictions being lifted. So certainly, uh, as uh, Professor Sundar mentioned earlier, the opportunity to attend OTC, the opportunity to attend some IDC conferences, that will be coming soon. So we're looking forward to that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Karle sahab, good morning. Karle sahab, good would you morning, address? Good morning. Sir, good morning, you... good morning. Good morning. Would you like to say a few words to all of us? Yeah, certainly. You guys are doing a marvelous job. And uh, I'm looking forward uh, for you team to come to Houston for OTC. And, uh, you know, this bit grading business, which uh, Mike just talked about, may be a good topic for your fourth year students. Uh, and also we can look into the possibility of uh, universities from India to be associated with the universities over here in the United States where the student chapter and see if we can transfer students from India to United States and United States to India for some period of time so we can have a communication going between the universities and um, and you guys are doing excellent job over there uh, as a student chapter i'm looking forward to meet you and you continue the work and thank you very much for giving me the time thank you sir thank you very much thank you thank you sir thank you very much It's, it's time for our panel discussion on the theme of the ceremony. I invite panelists, Shri R.K. Vij, who is a moderator, J.G. Chaturvedi, Vishnu Rawal, and Sheetal Khot. Thirty minutes. How much time? How much time? Thirty minutes. Okay. I hand over the session to Dr. R.K. Vich, sir, who is the moderator for the panel discussion. Uh, good afternoon, again. Good evening. Good afternoon. Uh, we are back here, and uh, now the panel discussion has has been pointed out by Mr. Mathur. Uh, this today's topic is very important, and the theme of the IADC. They have given us the digitization. And as you know that in digital India and the present decade is going towards digital thing, everything. 
in fact the covid has given us a very good impetus in digitization especially in education so when we have gone from offline to online and this mode has worked very well and uh, in fact uh, this was a catalyst in spite of the fact that pandemic has given us so many so much negative things but the one positive thing is that we all learn the online things and uh, we have started this thing if you talk about digitization that it is going on from ever since last around two decades but if you see that uh, status of petroleum industry especially the enp uh, what is my personal observation that in enp we are not equivalent to the it industry or other industries which have gone far off in uh, digitization and uh, if you talk of digitization again uh, the basic thing is the big data the internet of things and artificial intelligence machine learning and we pro, uh, we produce a lot of data during our enp operation if we are dealing a single well you know how much data we are generating or if we are doing some line kilometer in the seismic so how much data we generate and whether this data generated data is purposefully utilized and whether this data is integrated or not integrated if you talk of a drilling we are doing log we are doing the mud parameter we are doing other things in the drilling there are different type of data and if you know if you know the data uh, structure there are some data which is structured data unstructured data different type of data is there so how to integrate the data and how to utilize this data in an integrated fashion so this is that is a two topics of today's discussion i will request i think uh, chaturvedi sir uh, to initiate the discussion that whether the present status of digitization in enp industry is sufficient if not what we need to do in this direction so chaturvedi sir once again very good evening to all of you and before i start my remarks one session to all of you which i wanted to cover in my talk also but lot of exercise was attempted by khadak singh and me as well for a vocal cord the idea i want to generate here is that you people are sitting in two four different sectors we have to use our wide angle to cover you from one end to another end if you can all sit in this these two you know sectors the number will also look big and it will be easy for us to focus on you and just see state and not on the sides anyway just suggestion for not for now but you can follow it later as far as this topic of today's panel discussion digitization is concerned i can only caution you that with every good thing there is a flip side also and let me first talk about the flip side then we'll come on the advantages of this because everything which has advantages is also having multiple disadvantages what is the disadvantage to start with very simple thing i cannot say about your generation but at least in my generation we used to love writing letter to our parents or to maybe our beloved ones and all that ever since you know this revolution has come we have stopped writing letters to the extent that post office has stopped printing you know internet the inland letters and this is the flip side because the personal connect which was there by writing you know letters that is missing altogether the other thing is in the industry parlance most of us as a geo scientist i am talking about i don't know so much of the other discipline at least in geo science we used to be possessive of our you know documents whatever we do we used to keep it as a classified document with us nobody else can you know see that one and in the industry with the rivals it is still happens we want to keep our data secret so that nobody can take advantage of our now once it is online available then anybody and everybody can access that so that is one disadvantage of that now kind of the data volume that we produce in all industry you take example only for seismic survey for them 3d seismic the enormous volume of you know data that we capture to store it for legacy it is so extremely difficult that even dgh which has a mandate that any operator co collecting any data must give a copy to dgh as a repository and they said you make a copy and keep it with you we don't have a storage 
now of course they had been attempting for last two decades now they have probably made up their data center but what i am trying to say we have seen in ongc when i joined our you know so called ibm computers you know what was the ram there mb not gbs even the you know big big you know the panels where disk will you know move the big computers also like ibm creative etc didn't have much capacity to store and today on your single pen drive you can store a lot of data now the amount of data that we generate there had been many you know those vendors which offered us that will keep your data on cloud in our warehouse whenever you demand will offer to you so technology is good but the pitfall again is that your data could be misused we have to then take protection against the misuse of our data which is our core values which gives us the impetus for better exploration i recall when ongc started this online processes i am talking of 1995 i was again posted in amdavad those days we started a project called apinet exploration production information network the idea was that each well we drill we have to produce 15 hard copies for distribution to our different and work centers in ongc one well you drill 15 copies you generate hard copy distribute to everybody then we said that it is waste of time waste of money waste of you know paper etc so why can't we store it in our database and this apinet we selected after visiting many oil industries globally and as i was mentioning you know in the morning this british petroleum at aberdeen that was the model we ultimately through sambazar we adopted sambazar commissioned you know that apinet project in ongc now the point i am making as head of geology in amdavad project those days the first such online system came for material management that means all your in in inventory of you know items it is on your desk you know which item where it is available where to requisition so i had one pc for myself then another pc came for the material management data then came this apinet so another terminal put on my desk my view was blocked by the pc the fourth one came for hr human resource management now i thought am i a pretty operator on computers like you know telephone operator so many you know pcs on my table i said why can't we integrate all these systems and put it just one pc where we can operate and that is how we came out with a mega project which is probably asia's biggest even so far sap now most of the hr circulars they were all paper copies they will be distributed sent by fax sent by post sometimes it is missing it is not reaching in time how the system is so robust that immediately you can transmit the message to concerned people so much so that i now become privileged senior citizen now ongc takes care of even senior citizens for their medical you know treatment etc now we have to put up our medical claims earlier we used to send physical copies sometimes it is not reaching to the desk sometimes they are not looking at it because they have pending volumes with them we used to remind them months after months now today even that medical claim system is also digitized it is online you submit your claim online and you will get notice also okay, what is the current status of your that particular claim so there are many advantages and particularly now i would come to the advantages of this digitization for oil industry the i consider personally that there should be no such rivalry between two you know competitors ultimately what we are doing we are serving for the nation trying to export and produce as much as possible and we have no competitors i tell you once a reporter asked subir raha the chairman of ongc when the d6 discovery was made by reliance we also had a block adjoining that they said now you have a competitor how would you manage your competitor subira so said where is the competition 
India is a net importer of oil and gas. We are importing from other countries. We don't have adequate in you know, our original you know, resources. So whether I produce or Reliance produce, we are producing for the nation. We are to that extent, we are not importing. There is no competition. So my personal view is that if we have a repository of this data, oil and gas data of any area, we can upload that on our system, do whatever iterations required, come out with a refined model and improve our system of you know, exploration. So I personally feel as the technology is improving, if we are not keeping pace with the technological improvement, we will be lagging behind. So I would personally recommend that particularly the young generation. See, I tell you, maybe I'm 68 years old. It may be not so easy for me to grasp certain you know, technological nuances, but my son, he teaches me. He says that, Papa, you have a you know, mobile. How many features of mobile do you use? And frankly speaking, how much we use? For talking, for messaging, for maybe watching some, you know, about WhatsApp applications. But there are many more features which are robust in this, which can be used. And I tell you a very interesting story. At Chief HRD, we were supposed to go for campus recruitment. And Jadapur University was known for ENT graduates. The ONGC used to induct from Jadapur. We went to Jadapur University. I asked a question to the candidate that I am talking of 2004. Can we use mobile as a PC? There was no answer at that time. And today, I think you will all agree with me. Mobile is much more than PC and TV. So if there is a technological advancement, we have to keep pace with it and we can bring much better result. Even if there are people who are working in the same area, if you share the knowledge, share the data, maybe you can come out with a better result. So that is my submission that digitization is the say of the day and we must adopt and adopt. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now you'll request uh, Mr. Vishnu Rawalji, who is the head of the Dilling and uh, Dilling around uh, 95 wells in a year, spending around more than 600 crores of rupees. So I would like to know from uh, Mr. Vishnu Rawalji that how they are integrating the data of all the wells through digital technology and how they are monitoring that different, so many rigs are working and he being a head, he has to take, keep a control of all the wells. Whether all the wells are going to be drilled in the right direction, they are following GTO, monitoring. So that is the single responsibility of head of drilling. So how Mr. Rawal is, will uh, like to share that how he is utilizing the digital technology for monitoring such a uh, great activity of drilling in ENP industry. Double sir. Thank you, Vic sir. Most of the students have seen the rig. How many students have re uh, so seen the rig? Most of the. How many equipment are there, you know? Continue running 24 hours by 7. Eh? So we have to monitor the now system, uh, this uh, digitization. Nowadays, a real monitoring system is there. Now, into this, uh, online monitor is there. So in this uh, RPM, SPM, weight on beat, all things come on the, the screen. But we are not uh, collect the data in uh, at proper place. So we have, we have the documentation part is concerned. We are not complete document nowadays. So the real monitor system is going on. So the this uh, SCADA system, this, through SCADA systems, we are tire one uh, this Mesana office me dikhai deta, then tire two uh, the, the Dehradun me dikhai deta. All this uh, can see and documentation proper documentation can be done. So without uh, documentation, कोई भी चीज का analysis करना बहुत मुश्किल है. How the this uh, uh, equipment is running? What is the life? What is the, how when we have to uh, uh, this uh, re repair? Yeah, overhauling is to be done. So f physically nowadays, uh, physically, but now the, after that, we have to see the uh, in a calculation 
ऑटोमेटिक सिस्टम विल बी कम कि यू गो फॉर ओवरऑलिंग और गो फॉर रिपेयरिंग और गो फॉर दिस चेंजेस सिस्टम ऑटोमेटिक कम सो नाउ डेज द न्यू रिग इज कमिंग ऑल अटैचमेंट इज इन बिल्ड प्रीवियस रिग मोबाइल रिग वॉज देयर बट दैट अटैचमेंट वॉज नॉट देयर now new technology is uh, tds system or uh, the automatic uh, this uh, catwalk automatic all the uh, drill watch all automatic system is there so we have no without rigman topman automatic system so the drillers uh, now you can see the our latest technology of our drilling rig most of the virag have seen that this uh, kuru has already seen the new rig uh, will is, is going to install within a uh, short time so new uh, rig is uh, uh, this new technology so we have the mo mobile rigs this is old technology uh, all electrical is old technology now new rig is there in on gc now the, the, just to to this i've told that we have introduced sap disa file disa this already when uh, the disa is the where uh, the procurement system disa is we have to move the file in disa so in one uh, within a second the approval from the director or approval from the asset manager or whatever the so we get the system nowadays uh, most of the uh, e portal system is there government e portal there is also introduced in the system so digitization is very important nowadays so industry is to be sustained with without uh, in the, this uh, digitization or the system upgradation is not done then will old system is not give the good result any uh, this uh, working in uh, drilling when the stuck will occur it give the all the uh, parameters during the direction drilling we have introduced the this rss tool parametric tools that give the what is the angle what is the direction uh, the, what is the, the resistivity mwd all these are the latest technologies so this uh, without uh, this tool we can't uh, the, the drill the horizontal well or direction well or uh, the, all these thing so it is very useful in you are uh, recovery or you are well so now without technology we can't uh, survive we can't uh, the, uh, uh, this uh, obtain all this you uh, are uh, oil from your field so so you is the latest technology i to, uh, told viraj and his team you make project regarding the how the, the this engine mud pump uh, give the uh, take the parameters from us and make the reports make the reports uh, when the, this uh, the engine is uh, will be due for overhauling when the this uh, the, uh, the time for change the oil water temperature pressure is and is any indication of the give then there is something wrong so digitization is the most important nowadays main power is reduced day by day we all depend on the digitization so when you are going in the field it is more thank you thank you double sir and uh, you rightly pointed out that with, without digital technology it is very difficult to monitor this horizontal well and day nolls and it is helping uh, in fit in fact it is enhancing the efficiency of drilling operations now i will uh, request mr uh, shital court who is managing director of a company 
uh, SNF com- uh, flow pam company which is which has set up a plant in gandhidham at a cost of 500 crore in a short period of 3 years uh, mr shital court is producing around 5000 tons of polymer daily and exporting to 19 countries in addition to supply to ongc at mesana and uh, amdavad so recently they have been awarded uh, these three project northkali ur bechara ji ur and jhalora ur so how this g- digital technology is helping uh, mr shital court in managing such a vast activity and uh, he could share his experience with the uh, the students good evening thank you sir uh, basically the digitization is much more important just as a layman i will tell you if you go to any of the sbi bank you will find the the people who are not tech savvy or don't want to operate the computers and all the things they are into the clerical job but who are much more tech savvy they are the managers or they are the senior most persons even in the sbi or you go to the post office as well that is the simple classic example why we want to adopt the digitization if we don't adopt you will be out of the picture you will be doing the clerical job or you will be doing whatever the non functional or non important job so digitization is much more important for all of us in day to day activities as well when we say online offline everyone has a pros and cons as well so we have to see what is positive in that one so when we say in uh, my panel colleagues uh, they have briefed about the drilling and all the things as a you are when we are going ahead basically all my technology we bring it from majorly from france so all the surface facilities and all the things major patented equipments we are using on those entire surface facility whenever we get a breakdown or like that what we have to do we are dependent we were dependent on our french experts and all the things but what we uh, with this digitization what we learned in this one we got the smart goggles we we got the different technology as well where you put the goggles and the person who is sitting in even in france or us as well he just saying okay you go like this you operate these things you go on changing the parameters as i explained and come out of those things and literally with this digitization we have completed means even within this pandemic situation as well we have given our 99% up time where in other countries to run those fields or run those equipments i had to call all the french experts or my global experts as well on site so with this technology we are when we are going to adopt we can definitely make those differences we can easily adopt what is required and even miss remote access so entire my site whatever we are doing the your polymer flooding or asp as well we can take the remote access remote uh, sitting in france sitting in india as even in gandhidham i can if i want i can operate the nk site as well north kadi polymer flooding so that is the technology where if i want to have the real time feedback what is going on on the site how the parameters we can set how the parameters we can change if there is a real time problem how can we identify how can we rectify those things how can we process it so that we can give the up time because when we are talking about the drilling and all the things you know the rig idle charges per day it is crossing more than 2 crores or 5 crores certainly like that if it is directional well so it is crossing more than 3 uh, crores 5 crores like that so if even a so- small fishing tool is there then also it is idle what can we do entire crew 100 to 150 member crew is there as a idle and we have to pay for that for that purpose if we get a real time digitization and real time monitoring and all the things and we get a expert who is monitoring more than 10 wells like that and whenever there is a problem he can give his expert solutions and all the things and we adopt those technology definitely we will learn and we can come out of those things so as a young engineers you need to because when 
i interact with the people then they are, even students we are which are young they say sir i'm not tech savvy i don't like software i don't like these things it is not a choice my dear friends don't say it is a choice to learn the computer or to learn the software you have to learn otherwise you are out of that game this literally classic example i told you sbi bank anywhere you go it you will find the young chap who is there he is operating as a branch manager and who are experienced people who don't want to learn the computer and all the things they are sitting at the back office right now so it is choice is with you if you want to make your career because entirely the future generation is on the digitization so if you learn you will gain you will gain you will go further make out your future career as well thank you our friend on the das made remark about the sbi gate right i tell you some of the humorous advantages of you know this uh, online system online i don't know some of you would have sometime visited info city have you gone there near gwalia you know the sweet shop there is one sardar ji dhaba yesterday we had been there for our meal when the bill came and i made the payment because we are still in the habit of taking out the purse you know and then make cash payment the poor guy did not have the enough money to return and then he was asking somebody bhai koi change de do kisi ke paas change hai kya then suddenly i looked on his counter there was a paytm code barcode and i said now why do you bother i will pay from my google pay i made the payment he was happy i was happy no hassles at all see when sometimes i visit my children in us again our habit we carry you know some dollars from here even though if we have to take it from thomas cook or whatever we take the you no know, dollars there my sons will tell me keep it under lock and key now you don't need you know this cash here anymore he will give me a card which is add on on his credit card and he says that if you make a cash payment and if the return is to be given by the counter they will give you coins which are so heavy your pocket will get you know torn off and all that so why do you make all these things online payment so i mean these are some of the advantages no doubt but what i wish to bring to your notice as an oil industry the maximum benefit that we have witnessed and my colleague from drilling will certainly agree with me we have made number of you know new technologies in ongc including uh, measurement while drilling logging while drilling now even casing while drilling right the the best advantage see the third eye center when we opened in mumbai it was sometimes in 2002 or so right now there literally on the screen you can see the trajectory of the well how it is drilled you have your gto with you you have all your parameters and you can see through whether it is behaving as per our plan and expectation or not not only that what happens as a geo scientist we prepare a plan we make expectations that okay our this prospective zone will be at this depth at this level but actually by the time you drill that depth also you don't get that in you know, a prospect because our assessment is based on seismic studies or other things which if due to various factors of velocity etc may not be reflected at the right level now you have bsp which we say information ahead of the bit so if you run your vsp at that depth where you expected you know this interval you did not get it it will give you information that drill another 200 meter and you will find the prospect so these are the advantages of you know this technologies and he rightly said if you do not adopt you don't have a choice basically if you don't adopt you will be left behind and many example we have seen in ongc also not only sbi the young bright stars like you they are taking the lead and those who are unable to adapt those technologies are sitting behind here thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much now the next and the last point i would like to make that uh, in pdeu that uh, we have uh, devised the course curriculum in 2020 and uh, we have added all the data analytics machine learning artificial intelligence into the petroleum course as a compulsory course 
and in addition to that we have acquired last two year around 180 softwares uh, geological geophysical reservoir engineering uh, this t navigator eclipse imax etc and now it is must for each petroleum engineer that he has to learn at least one software before he leaves pdu and as rightly pointed out by chaturvedi ji that if you are not learning you will be left behind so i now i will request uh, vishnu rawat ji what is the message for new young engineers which they are going although we are giving them this uh, knowledge of digital technology and software so what skills they should have so that they have a better employability and uh, they should have a very good career in the enp industry travel sir main to yahi kahunga ki this is technology has to be used hai na aur bina technology ke fir aage badh nahi paoge इंडिया जब से आप नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने जिस टेक्नोलॉजी यूज किया जिसे अपने मेक इन इंडिया कॉन्सेप्ट तो मेक इन इंडिया कॉन्सेप्ट में जाके आपने जो भी चीजें करनी है दैट शुड बी आपको डिजाइन जैसे चतुर्वेदी साहब ने बताया कि दिस पेटीएम सब कुछ चीजें इंडिया में सबसे वर्ल्ड में सबसे ज्यादा फास्ट जो हुआ है वो इंडिया का स्टार्ट हुआ है डिजाइन और मैं सोचता और भी ज्यादा अच्छा होगा और आप लोग जो बताया कि टेक्नोलॉजी के हिसाब से और भी आप फास्ट करोगे अभी हम फ्यूचर इंडिया का सबसे आगे वर्ल्ड में लीड करने के लिए आप लोग ही यंग जो हैं एक आप लोगों को ही करना है तो कैसे करोगे वो आपको देखना है और जैसे वीक साहब ने बताया कि आप एक प्रोग्राम हर स्टूडेंट्स अपने एक प्रोग्राम जैसा भी है वैसा प्रोग्राम बनाइए सोचिए थिंकिंग करिए करिए कैसा होगा और सब कुछ चीजें होगी और ये डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पार्ट जो भी आपने बना तो लिया उसका डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पार्ट भी बहुत जरूरी है कोई पहले वो जो आपने बना है कोई दूसरे चोरी करके दूसरा कोई लेके आया वैसा भी ना हो तो वो भी चीजें बहुत जरूरी है और मेरे इस हिसाब से आपके सब पास आउट कितने लोग इधर से अभी लास्ट ईयर में कितने लोग हैं सभी नहीं अभी कौन है इसमें सभी लोग फाइनल ईयर ठीक है सभी का अपना प्लेसमेंट हो गया ना सभी का प्लेसमेंट हो गया है आप अपने हिसाब से आप अभी तक स्टूडेंट्स हैं इसके बाद आप नेक्स्ट जनरेशन में आप अपना एक स्टेप आगे बढ़ रहे हैं आपके पास काफी जिम्मेदारी है यू मोर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हाउ टू टेक तो क्या लोगे रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी में क्या करोगे आप उधर जाकर हार्ड वर्क आपने जो सीखा है इधर हार्ड वर्क करना अभी आपके पास वीक साहब के एंटर में रहे आपने आपका थोड़ा आशीर्वाद रहा लोगों बच्चों के ऊपर उधर कोई आशीर्वाद नहीं रहेगा उधर उधर आपको ये सब आगे लीड करना है जो आपने इधर लीड किया है वह उधर जाके भी ऐसे लीड करना है और हार्ड वर्क अपना टाइम टेबल बिल्कुल परफेक्ट होना चाहिए आपको वो कुछ मिलने वाला नहीं बिल्कुल बिल्कुल परफेक्ट रखना है नेक्स्ट स्टेप आपकी लाइफ के स्टार्ट हो रहा है बहुत जरूरी है तो हार्ड वर्क के पीछे नहीं रहना और मैंने जैसे इसके पहले आपको बोला है बता फिजिकली एंड मेंटली अपने आप को टफ रखना है और सचिन साहब ने बताया था कि पॉजिटिविटी पॉजिटिविटी आपको नहीं भी आता है तो भी पॉजिटिव ही रही है बस ऐसे स्ट्रेट वे से मना नहीं करिए मुझे नहीं आता मैं नहीं कर पाऊंगा मैं नहीं कर आप नहीं भी आता यस मैं करूंगा पॉजिटिव ये आप इंडस्ट्री में जा रहे हैं ये सब चीजें बहुत जरूरी है और अपनी टेक्नोलॉजी आपने जो सीखा उसको और भी निचोड़ से और भी जो भी चीजें हो तो और भी पढ़ाई और दूसरा अपने आप को अपडेट रखना जस्ट पास करने के लिए बात इसके बाद नहीं उसके बाद भी अपने आप को टेक्नोलॉजी से अपडेट करके अपने आप को बढ़ाना करोगे ना करोगे किसी को कोई शक आर्मी में एक चीज होती है किसी को कोई शक का जवाब होता ना किसी को कोई शक हाँ ठीक है ना शक नहीं होना चाहिए हमेशा एक पॉजिटिव जो भी चीजें पास करना है तो वही चीजें आप अपने आगे के करियर आपके अभी तो स्टूडेंट्स रहे इसके बाद नेक्स्ट जनरेशन आप जाने वाले हैं बहुत ही अच्छी तरह करिए 
आपको कहीं भी कुछ लगता है आपका कोई ना कोई आपके गुरु है उनसे सलाह लीजिए हर वक्त कुछ तो कुछ आपके पास कोई ना टफ सिचुएशन आती है तो उसका क्या है जो भी आप गुरु होते हैं वो वीक साहब हो आपके माता पिता हो आपका दोस्त हो आपके और भी कोई हो उसे सलाह लेना कभी भी हताश मत होना कभी भी अपने आप को डिप्रेशन में नहीं जाना लोग बच्चे लोग ज्यादातर डिप्रेशन में हो जाते हैं कुछ डिप्रेशन में नहीं जाता और भी आगे जाओ जैसे जैसे आगे जाता है आगे कठाने आती है तो उसको उसका सामना करना है तो मैं समझता हूं कि आप लोग जो दूसरे थर्ड स्टूडेंट्स है थर्ड ईयर वाले वो और चैलेंज लेके आगे का लीडरशिप क्वालिटी आनी चाहिए लीडरशिप हर चीजें आनी चाहिए जो भी हो कोई भी जगह आज जाइए लीडरशिप का बहुत काम है बिना लीडरशिप के आप कहीं भी जाने से कहीं कतराइए मत तो मुझे नहीं आता आप जाके खड़े हो जाए कुछ भी करता गाना 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 गाता तो गाना गा लीजिए डांस करना तो डांस कर नहीं आता फिर भी कर लीजिए डांस जो भी चीजें आते उस पर कुछ मतलब शर्म नहीं करनी शर्म कब जाने चोरी करना ये करना वो करना उसमें पर मेहनत में कभी शर्मा नहीं करनी तो ठीक है आपको ऑल द बेस्ट जाने वाले को और थर्ड ईयर से फोर्थ ईयर में आने वाले को ये जब जो जिसने लीड किया था वो अभी फोर्थ ईयर में करेंगे आईडीसी का चैप्टर लेंगे लीड करेंगे उनके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और जाने वाले को मेरी तरफ शुभकामना थैंक यू थैंक यू जैसा कि शीतल कोट जी ने बताया अपने लेक्चर में दैट ही हैज ऑब्जर्व दैट ऑनलाइन जो पेंडेमिक में ऑनलाइन हुआ उसमें कुछ लोग पीछे रह गए दैट इज इज ऑब्जर्वेशन ही शेयर्ड विद मी आल्सो रिसेंटली विजिटेड वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर टेकिंग द रिक्रूटमेंट एंड व्हाट इज इज ऑब्जर्वेशन इज दैट दोज हु हैव स्टडीड ड्यूरिंग पेंडेमिक इन लास्ट टू ईयर so they are not able to reply or they are feeling some negativity that is his personal observation which i agree also sometimes when we are interacting with the student so i will request uh, uh, again shidal kaur ji to suggest to our student that although we are telling them that uh, they have to compensate the time uh, of the pandemic now they have to work hard and compensate by hard working for some more time extra time so that they should come at the knowledge at the same level as their seniors are there so what is the one line suggestion for our student shital kaur ji thank you sir one line suggestion is keep on learning learning should not be stopped and so i i am having one mentor during my college days when i was doing me petroleum engineering the professor was there you can note it down suresh karkhanis you can google it he is having more than 15 phd in his place when i used to go to his cabin he used to say ye computer mein ye kaise karte hai batao mujhe ye mail mein ye attachment ye yahan se nikalna hai yahan pe ye karna hai to apni aadat rehti hai ki i sir de dijiye main karke deta hu so he, he used to say you stand there don't touch my computer you have to teach me first you teach me because you will not be there 24 by 7 uh, teaching me or uh, doing my job i had to learn myself and that was the spirit what he was having at the age of 81 at that time still he is there and still he is operating the computer and all the things by himself only so he say miss that was my learning as well keep on learning and don't stop it is when i discuss some of the students when they have done me or be like that sir maine bahut pad liya abhi padhne ki ichha nahi hai so when you stop yourself from learning you are dead because the technology is continuously upgrading you know 20 this nokia which was the best phone 10 years 15 years pioneer but they didn't adopt the technology or they didn't adopt the users what user want yes so they didn't adopted those technology and they are out of the game so if you ask to your parents as well which phone you like when you started using the mobile they will naturally say nokia because that was the brand at that time but they didn't adopt the users what is required and they gone out of those things so that is what keep on learning keep on adopting yourself 
to what is required for the market for your betterment of your future as well that is what the takeaway is thank you thank you thank you so uh, very good suggestion by sheetal ji uh, who is a uh, successful md at the age of 40 you see so he has done his mtech from mit pune i know when he was he is doing mtech and within a short and he is a example uh, in fact i know him from last 10 15 years he is a example that he was a lone a single person of snf in india and now he is heading a team of more than 200 more than 200 person and uh, maybe i don't know his uh, na uh, that uh, net cash flow maybe around 700 crores today so that is in last 10 year because of his hard work his technology savvy he could so he is a example and he is giving a suggestion that continue learning don't think that aaj main seven, seven semester mein aage abhi employment chahiye learning band kar di aisa nahi karna so i this thing you should not happen that you have come now in seven semester you should bother only about employment and learning should not be there so continuous learning should be there and opportunity will come to you definitely once you have a knowledge and skill so definitely uh, the opportunity will come to you so to conclude the today's digital technology this uh, theme i will request now mr jg chaturvedi to conclude the session by giving the what is the take off from this uh, session uh, especially for our student and some of our professor also to sum up with an example you know the program today was for the whole day but me and mr kharat singh were in ahmedabad 3 days in advance you know what what for we played golf now he is 78 i am 68 and his fitness is because of the golf that he plays regularly why i am bringing this concept mr kharak singh was motivating factor behind me he said you learn golf and at this age he said there is no age for learning golf at any age you can learn golf the same thing applies on these technologies today there is no age bar and एक हमारे हिंदी में दोहा है पढ़े आप अपन ठोर पे कंचन पे जनक हुए लर्निंग फ्रॉम एनी पर्सन वेदर इट इज योर सन वेदर इट इज योर फ्रेंड वेदर इट इज योर टीचर इन लर्निंग हैज नो लिमिट्स सो वी हैव टू इनकलकेट दिस हैबिट ऑफ लर्निंग फ्रॉम वट एवर रिसोर्सेज आर एट आवर डिस्पोजल सो देर इज नो टू ओपिनियन to adopt the latest current technologies to keep ourselves abreast with the latest development having said so now since i had been chief hrd responsible for recruitment in ongc finalizing the campuses where recruitment has to take place etc etc i want to leave two tips for those third year students who will now face replacement next year when you face the interview board how should you be preparing yourself we had a very clear philosophy we are not judging your knowledge when we are interviewing you because your knowledge has been adjusted by your university by giving you grades 80 percent 90 percent whatever your knowledge about your subject has been judged by your university we are not interested in your knowledge we are looking for a spark in you can you become leader as my friend said we are looking for leadership do you have those characteristics that make you leader we are actually looking for future leaders in ongc so next time when you go for placement just forget about you know your subject by two days you know study you can't add on with your knowledge whatever you have gained that is already with you try to ensure that your selection is based on the merit of your characteristics what is something extra what is that spark that you must follow that that will definitely give you good placement anywhere it's not only ongc any company which is coming they are looking for future leaders for their company so do that and my best wishes the other thing looking at chital i am tempted to advise to you are you here only for seeking jobs after your career after your degree would you always like to be in service will you not like to provide service to others meaning will you not become entrepreneur yourself if he can so many startups have started in india in short time some of the startups have grown many fold 
I would rather expect the next time after a few years, if I feel and see somewhere that our PDU students from SPT have opened up their startup and provide employment to others. That is my cherish, I desire. And I'm hopeful some of you will definitely make a break. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. मैं एक चीज बोलना चाहता हूं कि हमारे काफी जो अपने जो ब्लॉक होते हैं ना जिसमें तेल काफी कम है और जहां जहां भी विस्कस है हां तो मैं विक साहब से बोलूंगा कि कुछ ब्लॉक जो हमारे ओनजीसी के मतलब गवर्नमेंट ने लेने की कोशिश किया 42 41 ब्लॉक्स में से कुछ एक आध ब्लॉक्स आप ले लीजिए वो ब्लॉक्स वो स्टूडेंट्स को दीजिए कि अल्टीमेट जो उसमें से कैसे मतलब उसको रिकवरी किया जाए जो भी है एक मतलब आप गवर्नमेंट को प्रपोज के लिए गुजरात गवर्नमेंट को कि हमारे इस बहुत सारे ब्लॉक है जिसमें है तो हमको दीजिए और हम उसको बच्चों को उसको सिखाए तो उसमें कैसे निकाला जाए दैट इज मतलब एक काफी अच्छा रहेगा आप लोगों के लिए ये बच्चों को मतलब मैं मैं वही चीजें देखता हूं कि आप ने डायरेक्ट इंडस्ट्री के साथ ज्वाइन कर लिया है पण ये बच्चों को जैसे हमारे पास आते हैं आपके पास काफी फैसिलिटी सब कुछ है इनको कुछ किया जाए और उसमें मतलब पार्टिशन पार्टनरशिप में ओनजीसी के लोग ओनजीसी के इसलिए रखें तो उसमें क्या इनको कुछ को खुद को अपना कॉन्फिडेंस आएगा और चीजें होगी और मैं ये चीज कहता हूं कि आप थोड़ा सा इनिशिएट लेके गवर्नमेंट को लेके ऐसे बहुत सारे ऐसे चराला है फिर तुम्हारा मानसा है कि जहां भी मतलब जो जो तुम्हारे बीच राज जहां मतलब हैवी ऑयल है जहां से मतलब निकालने में काफी प्रॉब्लम आ रही है तो इनको दे दिया जाए तो एटलीस्ट वो चीजें थोड़ी सी करें और हमारा अपना ब्लॉक कुछ करें ठीक है तो ये मतलब हमारे लिए बहुत ही काफी ब्लॉक ऐसे हैं कि मतलब गवर्नमेंट लेना ही चाहते ऐसे करना नहीं चाहते उसको ले ली जाए थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू तो विद दिस वी विल कंक्लूड दिस सेशन आई एम मस्ट थैंक ऑल द थ्री पैनलिस्ट मिस्टर जे जी चतुर्वेदी जी मिस्टर शीतल कोट जी and mr vishnu raval ji for uh, giving us a very good idea about this particular theme and i must thankful to iadc for giving a right theme at right time and uh, we are also thankful to mr arun kalle and mr uh, uh, mike dovis for uh, sparing the time in the early morning they are speaking they were in houston so uh, thanks to both of them for participating in this today's discussion thank you very much thanks Thank you all the panelists for the thought provoking panel discussion. I am sure that the students will have a plenty of takeaways from the same. I request Dr. R. K. Vidh sir to felicitate the panelists with the memento as a token of our gratitude. Shri J. G. Chaturvedi. Vishnu Raval Sheetal Khot I would like to invite Dr R K Vichar to for the concluding remarks okay so once again uh, uh, good evening and i hope that uh, the whole day's function was a really a very good learning for all of us and uh, uh, i must thank uh, iadc executive members and the all the team and all the guests who have spared the time uh, especially mr jg chaturvedi and mr khadak singh who have come from bombay Mr. Amit Desai, who have also uh, visited us, and he already left. I think his flight was there at 6:30 back to Mumbai. He's a very uh, uh, busy man. Mr. Vishnu Raval ji, who is heading uh, Masana and Dilling section. Mr. Shital Kot, who have come from Gandhi Dham, and uh, he is a big supporter of all of us uh, in our PDU. 
and i must thank mr shital court uh, recently mr shital court has given us uh, 10 lakh rupees for setting up a chemistry laboratory so i must thankful to mr shital court ji who has spared 10 lakh rupees for our uh, setting up a chemistry laboratory and i think uh, virat for this function also uh, i think uh, mr shital court has given 1 lakh rupees so thanks to mr shital court for and his company and we wish that uh, the snf flopam uh, in the service of enp sector which is doing and uh, we wish them a great success in ur uh, projects in whole of india and uh, we are very happy that mr shital court could make it uh, uh, to attend this uh, today's uh, uh, function we are also thankful to our other colleagues uh, from mesana and uh, other places we are also thankful to grand mercury hotel i think and uh, we are also thankful to them for supporting us and we wish that uh, uh, we work with all the neighbors uh, in fact we are working with all in knowledge in the corridor we are working with gnlu isr and various uh, uh, our neighbors in knowledge corridor and grand mercury hotel is also nearby uh, in our gandhinagar so uh, thanks to them also for supporting this type of uh, events where our students are getting the knowledge and uh, once they are becoming the future energy leaders for the country energy soldiers for the country so i hope that each day is uh, beneficial for them and uh, especially for the uh, eighth semester students who have just maybe around one month more to stay in this uh, pdu for them each day learning is must and uh, as advised by Uh, even mr shital court and mr chaturvedi and mr uh, vishnu raval ji that learning should not stop and that that it should be in your mind that uh, if you are uh, in eighth semester each day you should spend to learn some more thing and uh, learning from anybody as again mr chaturvedi had told that you can learn from your juniors you can learn from seniors colleagues teachers parents everybody so try to learn the good things and uh, as in the morning i think you have seen the uh, that our uh, pdu movie where uh, our director general sundar manohar ji is telling that we are uh, profiling the student so profiling the student for their holistic development so if you are going out from pdu uh, we don't want that only you should be a good intelligent fellow but you should be humble and then you should be a good human being and uh, should serve the society Uh, in any way uh, so it's not sure that uh, you are a petroleum engineer you are you are going to serve a petroleum industry maybe some of you may uh, go to entrepreneurship you may go to the some it industry or you may set up your own uh, business so this is a basic uh, academic knowledge which you are getting here in last 4 years and uh, when you are going uh, so you should be uh, known as we will be proud of you Uh, to be pdp un and uh, as again mr Sun professor sundar manohar told uh, we are going to us on this saturday and you i am very happy that uh, when we made the finalize the program and we inform our alumni so we are uh, fixing up a dinner at fourth on fourth at houston so you will not believe that almost 40 50 people 40 our students are coming from uh, even from the different cities and uh, they want to meet us they want to talk to us and this is a good uh, we are really proud of our students those who are working in us uh, in energy in the various energy era so we believe that uh, you being uh, maybe uh, next year some of you will go to us canada and other places and uh, we will be proud of all of you that you are a pdp un thank you very much thanks a lot everybody thanks very much Thank you sir that brings us the conclusion of our plenary session a special thanks to our gold sponsor snf flopam hospitality partner grand mercury gift city and merchandise partner galaxy enterprise for making this possible i invite mr shital court for managing director snf flopam to receive a moment as a token of our gratitude receiving the moment as a token of gratitude our manager
Now I invite Mr. Rahul Panwar, General Manager of Grand Mercure, to receive a moment as a token of our gratitude. Thank you, sir. Now, 